So guys, before we go to the news update in terms of what's going on here in Colombia and all of that, just look at this for a few moments. What I'm going to show you right now, this one is with the smartphone, this part. But then the video that I'm going to show you with the bird perch and everything, that's with the GoPro. But it's a foggy morning. It's foggy. That's why it doesn't look clear. But I'm using the GoPro except for this clip right now. So stay tuned. See that. And then at the end of the whole news update, you'll see uh, some birds eating because I put the GoPro right over there and left it filming. So I'm going to show you a small clip so you can relax after all that uh, news update. Now you may be asking me, good morning guys, welcome to Traveling Eddie, and we're going places. Good morning. Now you asked maybe why did I buy so many bananas from the last video you saw? It's because I got a bird perch there and you just saw two birds fly away. And then the doggies probably scared them. And they all kinds of little birds come here and they eat bananas. So I place bananas here. As you see on this bird kind of perch thing, makeshift, and I place bananas here. And you see these hanging plants. So it's a foggy morning as you can see. So stay tuned in a few seconds, in a few moments. I'll be giving you an update on what's going on here in Colombia. And from the traveling Eddie, Columbia Travel Update Desk, News Desk. It's a foggy morning here, and I'll be giving it to you soon enough. Okay, guys, here we are at the News Desk here in my dad's home. There's Ganesh, the remover of obstacles, Ganesha. And outside, that's the view from the main bedroom here. Birdies over there eating their bananas. Oh, the doggies scared them away. Anyhow, so here, let's get down to business. So, what's up? Remember to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, stay tuned for more updates. I'll try to do, no, forget try. Just do it like Nike. Just do it. Try means fail. Anyhow, every two days I'll do it. So, here we have El Tiempo newspaper online. It's in Spanish, not in English. So here it says denuncias de desapariciones. That means there are uh, police reports. People are like reporting uh, disappearances and chaos uh, during the protests in Itagüí, Antioquia. That's a city right next to Medellín. And they're saying that they're claiming that there was police abuse uh, caught on different videos and put up on social media networks like on Instagram and whatever. And then there's another one here, the mayor of Medellin, his name is Daniel Quintero, and he was alerting people about uh, supposed infiltrations in the uh, protest marches, marches, like some people were infiltrating these marches to uh, cause chaos and make it look like the protesters were behind it, trying to discredit the protesters. Um, then there's talking about the national strike, and... They're talking about the different uh, manifestations, the routes they were going to take yesterday on the 5th of May. And there were at least 13 uh, routes that were organized in Medellin and in the Valley of Aburra. So these are some of the uh, situations. And then in April, they said that uh, in Antioquia here, the, the Department of State, there were a port, uh, reported 2,697 deaths. Uh, as a result of COVID-19 and and during this whole pandemic it says that the whole state has had about 10,000 uh, deaths I don't know how accurate that is but that's what it's saying there so this is some of the information here and life in some of the areas is pretty normal and uh, let's see what else I can tell you in a moment oh, and one thing one thing some of the information here from El País. El País is another newspaper here in Colombia. And here it says that um, the uh, repression of the protesters, I mean the protesters being repressed uh, by the police and the government has caused a divorce, a divorce between young people and Duque. Meaning young people are not, a lot of young people are not supporting Duque anymore. They're against him. And there was some kind of survey done 
in which 74, 74% of citizens between the ages of 18 and 25 years old have an unfavorable image of the president of the country. And there's another title here, another headline saying, let's save democracy, because they say that Colombia needs a new state, a government, because the, the one that is actually doing things right now is not really favoring young people and the poor, and there's basically a lot of injustice. That's what they say. They want big reforms and justice and social protection. So uh, these are articles in the newspaper right now, and Colombia is submerged or sunk in these protests and police abuse. They're, they're really claiming that the police is abusing, and these are just images of these protests where the police are using tear gas and everything. And the police, the ESMAD, has had a very... that part of the police called ESMAD, I forgot what they stand for, have really had a bad, bad reputation over the years uh, in terms of dealing with protests all across the country. And in Bogota, uh, the mayor was saying, and even the mayor of Medellin in Bogota, they were saying that they don't want any military help. They don't want the military to be involved. They said it in public uh, press releases uh, last week when the government, when Duque announced I think it was on Sunday, or I don't remember, that he was soliciting help from the military to coordinate and, and watch these protest marches. And those two uh, mayors, the Claudia Lopez, the female mayor of Bogota, and Daniel Quintero, the mayor of Medellin, said, we don't want it, we didn't ask for it, we will not accept military help, we just don't want things to get worse. And they're saying that... Uh, that, wow, I mean, and Cali, Cali has been hit hard. Cali has been hit hard, probably the worst hit city in all of Colombia right now, because I've been talking to some of my students. I'm an English language teacher, just in case you didn't know, and that's how I make my living on YouTube. I'm doing this out of passion, as a hobby, travel vlogging, but right now, uh, travel vlogging aside, I'm giving updates. So remember to give the video a like. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Remember to leave your comments or questions down below in the comments section. The subscription button, the subscribe button is down below too. And the like button is down there too. And if you don't like it, then the other one is there as well. I'm real, as real as I can get. And share this with your friends on social media, on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, on Twitch, itch, glitch, glitch, whatever they call it. And Cali has really been hit hard, the hardest, because I have students, virtual students, that I, I'm teaching classes online uh, through people in Bogota, in Cali, here in Medellin, in Guarne, Rio Negro, whatever, and they're telling me that it's bad in some places like Cali, really, really bad. The, the mayor there had to impose a continuous curfew last weekend and everything, and watching things there because there are many vandals taking advantage of the situation, uh, organized crime, like gangs, organized gangs that are criminals and they were sacking looting stores and shops and and shopping centers and really causing chaos taking advantage of the young people and poor that just wanted to protest and be heard and not to cause damage but some people infiltrated those groups whether they be from the government or organized crime and they gave those people a bad image so please don't judge a book by its cover dig deep into what's happening and that's all for now. Stay tuned for more. And even the travel vlogs I do. Because I do travel vlogs in general. Adventure vlogs too about hiking and mountain biking. But today it's about a travel update. And I hope you enjoyed the birds eating the food. I just don't want all this to be bad news. The birds are good news. The birds are singing and chirping away. Stay blessed. Stay safe. So, um, just this in the background. But I'm going to explain something about... Um, I'm going to explain something about the Colombian flag. It's been coming out a lot that they're putting it upside down because usually it's amarillo, azul, y rojo. Amarillo, yellow, blue, and red. And traditionally, yellow means the richness, the wealth of the country in terms of biodiversity. That's what yellow stands for. And then uh, blue means the water because Colombia has oceans on both sides the Pacific and the Atlantic, and of course the Caribbean, and all of that. And then the red uh, usually meant the blood that the heroes of the country, the patriots, shed during the fight for independence from Spain. 
and now they have turned it upside down on social media. And I was doing some research yesterday, reading into that. Why were they turning it upside down? Some people had claimed there was the United Nations, uh, some kind of guidelines to protest, and the United Nations came out with a press release saying, we have never do, done that. We don't interfere with national issues in that sense. We didn't do that. And then some people here in Colombia and even some kind of uh, uh, psychologists and uh, people who, who live here in Colombia and study the social situation, though uh, I read an article, I don't remember where, in Spanish, and uh, the, the thing was that they turned it upside down, red being the first part now, blue still blue, and yellow meaning the biodiversity, the wealth of the country, and why red, and they made the red bigger, the, a bigger uh, uh, part, and the other two smaller, because now they want to symbolize the red as meaning the shed, the bloodshed of innocent people, of protesters, of people in Colombia suffering at the hands of the oppressors, and that's what they're saying, that's what I'm explaining to you. I take no sides in this, I just have compassion, but I'm just explaining what it means, and that's why a lot of the young people are turning it upside down on social media and whatnot, and even in the newspaper articles that you can see, why is it red first, and why bigger than the other two colors that usually has been all equal parts, all three, on, on the Colombian flag, and the shed of blood, bloodshed of innocent lives during these protests and before the protests of people losing their lives because of oppression by these political forces and whatever and other groups. Stay blessed, stay tuned, stay safe, stay tuned for more videos, travel vlogs, and travel updates here and wherever I may be down the road.